Hello, my name is Alessia. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, we post a new video every week. We do it every Friday. My goal is to help you understand and speak English fluently. In this video, we will talk about different types of houses. Is every house a home? Sometimes we can use the words house and home interchangeably, but not always. For example, my house is light and spacious. My home is light and spacious. Here these words are interchangeable. When you point out a building and say it is your house, you mean a physical building. A home is a place where you feel warm and cozy. A single family house is usually meant for one family. It is an independent residential structure that sits on a piece of private property. There is usually a garage, a front yard, and a backyard. Single-story house is usually a one-level house, but not always. There might be the main level, basement, and upper level. Story is a level of a building. A single-family home can have more than one level. Two-story house. A duplex is a house with two separate apartments, each with its own entrance. A duplex is a building with two separate units and two different families live in each unit. An apartment is a set of rooms that includes a bathroom and a kitchen. The owner of the apartment building usually rents out each apartment separately. For example, in the United States you can usually live or rent an apartment, but you can't buy an apartment in the apartment building. A condo is an apartment in an apartment building or apartment complex, and you can live in it, you can sell or buy it, and you can rent it out. For example, I bought a nice condo last year. Co-ops or Cooperative Society. It is an apartment. They own a share of a cooperative or corporation that owns the building or the apartment complex. Studio apartment. An apartment containing one main room. A studio apartment typically consists of one large room that serves as the combined living, dining, and bedroom. Apartment complex. An apartment complex is a building that contains apartments and are managed by one owner or by one company. Apartment complexes usually have designated parking for tenants and guests. Tenants are people who live or rent out these complexes. In Florida, you may find pools, gyms or tennis courts as a part of a complex. As a tenant or an owner, we pay a monthly community fee and we can use it anytime. Townhouse or townhome. It is a house that at least has two stories and it is usually built close to each other and are often connected with each other. You own the home and the land it sits on. Some people find it very comfortable to live in a townhome because of some benefits like snow or trash removal, landscaping. You don't have to worry about that. Neighborhood and community. These two words are not interchangeable. Neighborhood. Neighborhood is defined as a group of houses 
or buildings that are together in one area. Community is a word that refers to groups of people living in a particular area or district. It also can refer to ethnic groups living inside a particular area, such as Hispanic community, Chinese community, and so on. Mobile home is a large trailer that is used for permanent living. A trailer park. An area of ground where trailers can be parked, especially by people using them as their homes. Cabin is a small and simple house made of wood, usually in the forest or mountains. Another meaning of the word cabin is a small room on a ship or boat where people sleep. Cottage is a small house in the countryside area. We lived in an isolated cottage with the flowers along the driveway. Farmhouse, the main house on a farm where the farmer lives. Today, you can rent a farmhouse like a vacation place. You can find ads like this. Again, Today, it's trendy to decorate your home with seasonal farmhouse decor. Castle, a large building typically of the medieval period, fortified against attack with thick walls, battlements, and towers. Houseboat is a boat that people keep as their homes to live and it is often kept on a river or canal. Skyscraper, a very tall modern building, usually in a city. The highest skyscraper is Burj Khalifa, literally Khalifa Tower, in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The total height is 829.8 meters, or 2,722 feet, just over half a mile. Dormitory a large building at a college or university where students live. Some students prefer to live on campus. It means they live in a dorm. On every campus you'll find a variety of housing types and styles. Nursing home or retirement home. A place where very elderly people live and receive health care. Bungalow. It is a single-storied house or cottage with a sloping roof, usually small and often surrounded by a veranda. Bungalows are typically small in terms of size and square footage. Bungalows are usually easy to maintain and modify. Igloo. An igloo is a temporary winter home known as a snow house or snow hut. It is a type of shelter built of snow, typically built when the snow is suitable. Shelter, a building designed to give protection. If you want to be safe from someone, danger, bad weather, or attack. It can be a shelter for homeless people or an animal shelter. For example, in Florida, if there is a threat from a bad hurricane, People who live in mobile homes prefer to stay in a shelter. Lighthouse, a tall building near the coast or shore with a flashing light at the top to warn ships of rocks and other dangers. Houses for animals. Cave. Den. Coop Kennel Stable Barn Knot hole or hollow Nest Beehive 
ant hill. Interviews How many different houses have you lived in? Eight. They're a mixture Apartment. between houses, apartments, and townhouses. I lived in apartments. Then I moved to Chicago, had an apartment that again was furnished. Well, the small town was a real small town. I really didn't know a lot of people. Whereas when I lived outside of Chicago, um, it was the suburbs, which I was accustomed to. And I made some friends and um, that was much better, but I still kind of wanted to be home. And then I left there and then I came back and I was working in New Jersey. <laughs> And I did that for about a year, but I was close enough to New York that I could go home for the weekend. Uh, I lived in a house, an apartment, and a condo. Which one did you like the best? Why? Our house in Memphis. Very traditional. Very us. I would have to say, ugh, like an apartment. I like the house best because it's bigger, you have more space, and I have a dog, so I like the yard for my dog. If you could change anything about your present home, what would it be? A pool. <laughs> we want a pool in the backyard. I would really love to have an office area, which I don't have. Um, I always bring home a lot of paperwork, a lot of schoolwork since I'm a teacher. And when I was teaching from home, it was like just a mess everywhere. Paperwork here, there, one computer here, another computer there. <laughs> okay. And it was like um, the mess, I couldn't get away from it. I would make it a little bit bigger. My house is pretty small. I have a small kitchen, small living room, small bedrooms. I would want to make them bigger. Is your home in a convenient location? Yes. Easy access to Tampa, to St. Pete, to get out if we need to. It's a perfect location. Walls? <laughs> yep. Supermarkets? <laughs> yep. I work about 10 minutes away, and I'm not too far from my family. Close to a mall, shopping, grocery shopping. We have a variety of stores that we can go to. Yes, I really like the location of my house. It's very convenient. I'm five minutes away from the bank, the pharmacy, uh, and I'm close to my work and my family, and I'm close to the beach in downtown. What things in your home couldn't you live without? My TV. I watch TV every day. I love to come home after working all day and watch TV. I have to say, air conditioning. <laughs> after the hurricane in 2017, air conditioning. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll find it useful. Leave your comments about the houses where you live in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Bye.